All right. Sorry, Sarah, why? Uh, Sarah, Good morning, sir. Hi, love. Do you have coffee, sir? Yeah, double, Bill. So, Mr. Jones? Yeah. I'm Alan Lovejoy, I'm the Environmental Health oh, Officer for Hackney. Yeah, are you okay to crack on? Yeah, just give me a couple of minutes. Yeah. All right. I'll be as right soon back. as you're ready, please. I'm get changed. Thank you. It's tricky doing a one shot because normally you can use scene breaks to tell, yeah. help tell story or to help gauge where you are with pacing or to increase tension and stuff like that. Uh, we didn't have that with this, so there was a point where we're, you know, you're writing the script and you're not actually sure whether you're getting the whether you're getting the pacing right, yeah. and that's like a big challenge, and and how are you moving from one side of the restaurant to the other side of the restaurant? We did a lot of walking around the space with the rig on beforehand. We'd adjust the height of the back part of the rig, so it was maybe like three inches above the countertops, so I knew that if I turned around in one of those tight spaces, it would clear the countertop behind me, and that was crucial. If I couldn't, didn't have that, I wouldn't be able to make a lot of these switches of directions that, that happen in the film. And a lot of it as well was just built into the, the choreography. So finding a spot for me to turn around, basically, and, and motivating the camera to get there, and that might end up being that we have to motivate something in the script, or the cast member has to, like, move over slightly, and we need to write a line for that or something. So there were so many, even just, like, me turning around, I had to, it oh, basically God. came all the way back to the, the, the script, which is, like, ridiculous. But it was necessary to make it possible, because... You know, or like maybe there was points where I had to turn around and there was like the ovens right behind me with like the stoves on top that were like burning hot. So I couldn't, I couldn't turn around there. And that was a huge limiting factor in such a small space that basically one wall of it, I couldn't go near. So you're always kind of looking one direction there and, and trying to motivate a reason for someone to turn me around because it was never me turning myself around. If I, if the camera just started to look elsewhere, you'd remember that there's a cameraman holding the camera and I think it would just take you out of it. It had to be that everything was connected. And also what was great for me as well was having James there because during rehearsals it's a constant like stop start and you know getting things right in the moves and the and the dialogue and stuff like that and to have James there to lean on was was you know amazing for me and especially when we came to shoot because you know when we when we're shooting we're sat behind a monitor and you can't cut or stop we certainly don't want to so to have you know trying to remember things that you know notes that I need to give on the next for the next uh, pass or the next take you know trying to write those down and James is there you know we both look at it you just have a look with me be like yeah no we need to yeah we need to talk about that for the, well, you know stuff like that so for me personally it was it was you know amazing that he was there hmm. oh. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it was mad because, like, I remember, I remember after the, maybe the first or the second take, and we and I had lo not loads of notes, but like little tiny notes for everybody. Mm. And um, I remember just being like, we're all in this one room together, and there's you know, yeah. I don't know, hundred people in this one room. I'm like, I can't find the actor. Where's that? So we decided to be like. Okay, so so I stood on a table basically like a dictator, <laughs> and all the actors were just there. Uh, down and like, like you. Yeah. If, if anything, when I say to you, we need to open up, from that moment, just go, alright, well, I'll talk to you again. So you don't need to do this one. You know what I mean? So not all one o'clock. Yeah, because it just, I, I, yeah, no, I, I think say, that can be a bit like, well, I've got to go now. Do you know, do you know what yeah. I mean? Just in that respect. So if you just smash through it. Do, which is spot on. It's yeah, no, it's great. The, the level's great, yeah. but just, just it needs to be quicker and, and just out of there. You know what I mean? In fairness, I, I probably shouldn't have done that because you know you're calling people out for mm. not mistakes, but like, yeah. But 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 it was the only way I could do it. When you're under, under the time, we're pressure, under the yeah. time pressure, and it was just like I need to give these notes, and I can't find everybody. Mm. To you know, someone's out there having a cigarette or whatever. You know, they're having a, a break or whatever. So. Yeah, it was, it, was a, yeah. <laughs> it was a mad, mad yeah. time. 20 covers, yeah. being up and now 100 covers. Yeah, yeah. 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 I went fucking rapid on that. <laughs> 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 it's like, oh, that's the same. <laughs> 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 Do you know what? I'm not being funny. I think that speed run was still in half of our head. Yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> 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 
bag of speed. I do. Londoners don't understand the word you're fucking saying. <laughs> <laughs>